Hello, everybody. Okay, so today you're going along with me. You're coming along with me. Um, I'm going to try to make a gluten-free wrap. I saw it on a short. Uh, this uh, lady, she made it. it. looked very nice. She used spinach. I don't have spinach, so I'm going to use just lettuce that I have. And she didn't have any uh, instruction or proportions on how to make it. So I'm just going to wing it like usual. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm going to add a little bit of flour. So because I want it to be gluten-free, not that I have anything against gluten. I love bread and gluten. But uh, today I just wanted to see if I can make it gluten-free and what will happen. So... This pan is quite large, right? So I'm going to use three eggs for this one. And I have about a cup of greens. It's mixed greens, so your wrap is going to be flavorful for sure. We need, uh, I don't have the pepper handy, but it's okay. I have salt over here. We can add pepper later when we use the wrap. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Flour, I'm going to use a tablespoon because I just want to stabilize it, even though that lady didn't use any flowers. But uh, yeah, let's see. It's not going to hurt, that's for sure. So one tablespoon of flour I'm using over here. I'm going to put my greens. Why not? I'm going to blend them. You know, that's the idea one cup of green and that this mix has dill in it which is really nice it's gonna give it a nice uh, aroma you know and taste and now the eggs for eggs this is one you know i love organic eggs you can always if you can't tell the difference you can see the difference in the color, right? Two. In the meantime, I'm gonna heat up my stove over here. And three, I'm using three eggs. If you ask what do I use most in my house, it's eggs. And we use the whole egg because, you know, contrary to popular belief, it's not only the egg whites that are good for you. It's the whole egg. Your body needs the whole egg. So we are using the whole egg, not only whites. And let's put some salt. Yeah. Okay, bear with me. I am home here. Okay. This is pepper and herbs. Voila. Okay. That is good. And now this is warming up, which is nice. Okay. And I'm going to put it in my blender. And sorry for the noise. Let's see. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, I'm just gonna let it settle, and uh, I'm going to take butter. About a tablespoon. I have to make sure that my pan is well oiled. You know. Okay, don't forget to spread the butter around. You can add a dash of olive oil 
I think it's always a good idea. Hello, Lamy. I'm going to use this part later, but I want to move it out of the way. Here we go. And there. I really want the pan to be hot. And wish me luck, right? Let's see. Okay, I really want the pan to be nice and warm. I know it's not there yet because even the butter is not browning. Not that I want brown butter, but at least it's an indication that it's getting warm. Hmm. Come on, beautiful pan. Okay. So... We want to spread it evenly around the pan, okay? Yeah. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. So let's spread it around. And I probably will need a little more here. It's delicate. Okay. This is like making pancakes, I guess. The first one, you don't know what to do with it until your pan is heated. Let me see. It is hot. Okay. It is working. All right. It's solidifying which is good. I wonder if I should lower the heat. Oh my gosh. So when this is ready, you can use it to, you know, use it as a regular wrap. You can use cream cheese with some lettuce or, you know, salmon. You can use it for eggs, obviously, or whatever you want to use it for. And look, it is almost set. Well, please don't. No, 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 no. Okay. Ooh. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So it slides very easily, and I don't know what to do with it. Let's see. Ah, here. Okay, very easy. But this is awesome. It works, you guys. Cool. Watch. It definitely works. Look at that. Okay, just dry off. If I had a smaller pan that I can actually control, Actually, I do have a smaller pan here. Let me see where I go. Lamy, stop. Come on. Oh. <laughs> I'm using my pan to support, my frying pan to support my laptop. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. This is uh, this is very good. Look. No, Lamy, all right. What are you doing? Can't do that. Okay. This is very, very good. It works. 
and definitely you can use it like a wrap if i can figure out how to turn it without ruining it for that i think i need a smaller pan oh okay well this is take one do i dare flip it mm, you know what now that i have black pepper wow this is a good drop look you see it's very good okay say a prayer oh okay so a smaller pan will definitely let you be more in control And I am very sure, excuse me now. Yeah, my second one is going to be even better. Okay, so I just want it to dry, you know, here it is, okay. Check it out. Here's a wrap. Okay, let's make another wrap. And this one is going to be better. I know. I know. I know. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. Just a little bit of butter because I think the first one was actually swimming in butter. I want to put some butter here. I should close it and shake it. Probably, yeah. Now it's nice and warm. So I'm going to lower the heat. This is becoming my favorite thing to do, cooking with you guys, because I love to cook. And I want it to be small, thin, not necessarily small but thin for sure oh, okay so what if i empty it yeah oh, come on move now yeah okay so there and there okay now come on evaporate we want all that moisture to evaporate look it is pliable. Ha! Check it out, you see? It's very pliable. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> How does it taste like? It tastes like a wrap with lots of lettuce in it. That's what it tastes like. So back over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It works. That's the whole thing. Does it work? Yes, it works. Maybe next time I can see if I even need the gluten free flour. Look at that. It dried out. That's the whole thing right here. So you can use this wrap to make a wrap, right? And I'm just going to, yeah. So you see, it's right here. And excuse me, guys. I made some eggs yesterday, right? And here they are. What am I going to do? I'm going to take my omelet and I'm going to put it right in the middle of my wrap. As you can see, this omelet has asparagus in it. It has leftover potatoes that we made. That's the omelet that we made. And here are the potatoes, okay? So I'm gonna take it. I turned off my heat. 
and I'm gonna bring the sides in. Here's one side. Goodness gracious, this is gonna be something. Train it live with you guys. So we are in this together. Yay. No, we're not. Yes, we are. You can add cheese. Ha! Look at that. It's so hot. It's burning my hand. The idea will be wait, take it out of the stove, you know. Do it slowly, Claudette. Here we go. It's fantastic. Ha! <laughs> okay. Look. Okay. This is awesome. Hold on. Now look at this. This is the other one that I made. And look how pliable it is, right? So I'm going to save it for later. Mm -hmm. I'm going to remove that. Use this. And this is going to be my serving plate. Okay. Mm. Guys, it's really delicious. Oh my goodness, look at that. If you have avocado, put some avocado slices. You have scallions, put a little bit in there. Tomatoes, whatever you want, you know. Mm. This is very good. It's delicious. Mm hmm. Hmm. Food is good, and good food is even better. Thank you for joining me. Until next time, have a great day.